Hi everyone, it's Deb here and I am excited to share my first ever <laughs> killer kit video. I've still got um, quite a bit of product left but I think I'm done with September. Um, most of the like stickers and things will go onto my stash and um, I got through quite a bit of the pattern paper. Um, I get uh, the pattern paper and the pattern paper add-on and if you want to see what this all looks like um, as a full kit I'll leave a link to my unboxing so let's get in and see what I've got left of the kits so mixed media kit we got the distress oxides and the stamps and we also got a stencil in one of the kits for September um, always great because um, can reuse the stamps and the ink pads last a very long time and of course can reuse the stencil. Um, we got the <clears throat> excuse me Dear Lizzie Goldfoil stickers and there was 25 of them in um, in the pack. I've got 11 left so I did use some as background and I used a lot to um, uh, punch shapes out of and use as gold foil accents so they will go uh, 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 into my stash and I probably will just use them to punch like things out of okay what next okay in this one I had the ephemera and there was a lot of florals in the ephemera pack um, I have got bits and pieces in here from things I've fussy cut out but the ephemera pack with all the florals I use pretty much all the florals I've got some leaves a bit of the vellum left um, and they're always handy um, to um, tuck into layers and things so quite happy with the amount I got used in that so I did keep the little fussy cut um, critters that I cut out because um, I think I might just cut them out and use them or give them to my girls um, some of the foam thickers that I didn't use and not sticky I've just chucked in here so I still got a few of them sticker sheet um, more fussy cutting and these are just all the foam thickers from the sheet another sticker um, went to use a few of these on projects and didn't end, up, didn't end up using them so they ended up in here and that was from the cut apart sheet, cut apart sheet, cut apart sheet and cut apart sheet. So um, for the actual ephemera pack there was just so many florals so yeah very happy with the amount I got used up there. Alright what next? Um, I've got something in here that's not supposed to be here. I might have a look at the pattern paper. So, I did keep the packaging. Let's see if I'm in focus. I did keep the um, packaging from some of the, um, all the frames and the, I think it might have been the stickers because that was a gorgeous wood grain. I don't know if I'll keep it. It is um, a nice little layering thing, but there's that. And then from the cut apart sheet, I've got, let's see, maybe I should have sorted this out beforehand. <laughs> um, that was the cut apart sheet, that one. So from the, we got a couple of cut apart sheets and that's all I've got left of that. So most probably um, trim them up and put them in my stash for my project life and then this is all the pattern paper I've got left so I've got this scrap of blue one which I made a few layouts out of and on both sides so we got to so I got two of each of these papers in the in the kit um, and did quite a lot of fussy cutting so I've got that and I do have a little baggie of scraps too let's see this is not a very good video is it 
Um, they're my little scraps left from that blue one. Um, I got a few cards that I cut up for my pocket pages. Uh, a couple of more cards. I did do some um, cutting on my cameo, um, some leaves, and I didn't end up using them all, but um, they're in this baggie here, and I will use them as layering. So I've got that bit left. I'll probably just get rid of that. And then the I've got one full sheet of this one, and kind of three quarters of a sheet of the same pattern and I think I might um, use all the green bits to do a traveler's notebook layout um, of my garden so they will go into my stash okay so the gold word stickers I still got quite a few of them even though I did use um, a few of them but they're always good and I've got a little pouch that's got um, holds my word stickers to reach for whenever I need them. Uh, what next? We'll save them ones for last. So we got we got these sticker sheets. <clears throat> Should have sorted this better. There was another one. And yeah, I think that's it. We got the three sticker sheets, the gold foil. Oh no, we got four sticker sheets, sorry, in the pack. I Try to incorporate these flowers on every single layout and I just couldn't do it. Um, used up all the clear black words except for two. That one kind of tore when I <laughs> took it off. Gold foil stickers used quite a few of them and still got a few stars and hearts uh, left on that and they will go on my decorative um, sticker pouch. So there's that. Puppy stickers. I used a few, mainly the hearts and things. Um, I don't know why, but I, I don't normally have trouble using little critters or anything. But um, I didn't use that many this month. But that's all good. Goes into my stash. Then this was the thicker sheet. Uh, thicker foam, thicker sticker things. <laughs> And I did use quite a lot. There is a few in that box um, that I showed before. But I did get quite a few used on them considering how much there was to start off with. So the other sticker sheet. Um, used a few. But that's alright. That'll go on my, um, my sticker pouch and get used up. If I don't use them up, I most probably give them to my, end up giving them to my girls if I don't use them like within the next six months. So thickers, I use quite a lot. So I've only got half a sheet of thickers left in this one. And on this one, I've got the one and a little bit and they're all kind of, they don't stick. So I've got one and a quarter maybe of them thickers left and the white ones I only made one title I yeah I only made one title with the white ones so I still got quite a few of them left but they're good because they're white and generic and can be used on any project okay oops and I forgot these scraps of paper I did so much fussy cutting um, I got all these hearts from the pattern paper I fussy cut out I did make a layout and incorporated the hearts into other places as well, but I still got them. Um, these are just all the little random bits of scraps, and that's all I've got left of that gold vellum. And yeah, I don't think I'd keep any of that. I don't think you could make anything, maybe. That'd be good for layers. I'd keep the vellum for sure. And the pink. Um, floral paper got a few um, layouts done with that and still got a little bit left and I think I could probably make another traveler's notebook layout with that actually I'm trying to stretch it aren't I <laughs> um, the chill I did not use any of the chill and that was shocking because that's something I reach for um, first and of course we've got washi left 
also I did make a washi tape layout which you will see I'm sorry if it's not in focus I'm trying to keep it in focus here um, I did make a washi tape layout um, which you'll see soon but washi you always oh! <laughs> drop it everywhere <laughs> um, always gonna have some left over and also I did have some butterflies left over but butterflies are something that I use a lot um, so they can be put into my stash and used for other projects and I think that was yeah that's it so it still seems like a lot like I've got a lot um, but considering what I started off with I think I did quite well so let's check the layouts and the projects I did with the September kits okay so these are my project life spreads um, gonna try and do it with minimal glare but it's just it's very hard because they are in page protectors so um, September I decided to add my September acrylic um, to the title page at and I included it at the bottom because I usually use it on the very first layout up in the top um, left and I noticed that my album is like getting chunky in just that spot right up on the top top there so I thought I'd change it up and add it to the bottom and I kept it quite simple I just cut up a pattern paper and look at this I, <laughs> I cut my pattern paper wrong and cut it shorter than what I need it to be but that's all good you can't really notice it unless you point it out maybe <laughs> well I'm hoping so and just a little cluster down the bottom there sorry I'm trying to do it without the glare so this is my first spread and it's just so glary I'm sorry this is my first spread for September and just give you a quick look Making my own cards, embellishing my photos. Um, I can't see in the camera. It's hard to see in the camera. So if it's getting in frame and it's, if it's in focus. Um, what was that one? Uh, and I do like to embellish my photos by putting labels in little decorations on there so that was the first week and then the second week I went pink so let's see if I'm in focus sorry um so yeah I used mainly the blues on that one and then I went pink on the second week so I'll give you a closer look and unicorn more DIY project life cards and decorating the um, photos and it's very hard to show a project life spread when it's in the um, page protector without getting that glare So this was the third week and sorry I had to cover some bases for privacy. Um, third week I went back to the blue kind of scheme. And I did, um, throughout the month, I did make a lot of the um, cards. I dis, um, I did make them similar. So with the diagonal or straight across with the those foam stickers, um, I did um, do that on quite a few of the weeks because um, I had printer issues and before that I had run out of ink. So I was behind before, like I only did this in the last two weeks of September. I finished up my September project life. Um, so I was in a rush to get it done and the easiest way to do that is just to repeat the elements I, I find. So this one I went kind of pink and green. So 
so sorry for the glare, it's really hot. Um, they are. I think this one said love, love you, mean it. And I cut out the heart that was on the, um, it was on a tag piece. And just covered the rest of that quote up and put my journaling there. And repeating that same design there. And then this side. And I was getting really down on my labels at this time. Oh, I forgot to um, share before that I do have some of the exclusive. I can get it out. Some of the exclusive, um, well, quite a bit of the exclusive die cuts left because we get so many, but that's all good because they can be used. I forgot to share that before. So anyway, that was my project life spread. Oops. So before I share the um, layouts I did, I did do um, a traveler's notebook spread. And there is a process video for this. Um, I'll link it below. I won't go too much detail about fussy cutting on that one. What was it? one to put together but I love that one and I also did do a um, oops, uh, art journal page as well and it is it was my first ever art journal page and I'm really happy with the way it turned out and there is a process video for that one as well and I show you how to use glue and foil to foil directly onto your project so that was I was really excited to get that this done as you can see I've only ever done backgrounds <laughs> so first ever journal page done all right so onto the scrapbook layouts and there will be process videos for some of these um, some of them already are, are on the kidaholics channel I'm just waiting for the kids to go back to school so I can do the voiceovers so once they start going up I will link them below um, each layout that will have a process will be linked below. So first one I did a Well, it wasn't the first one I did but the first one on the pile is a scrap lift from Steffi Reed um, she's on the Paige Evans design team and um, She did this beautiful layout where she had all the flowers and leaves um, coming out from under her block of cardstock there's that one and I think I did film for this one so there will be a process video up for that one soon um, this one was for uh, one of my design team pieces and there is a process video for this and I'll link it below and it was using those frames and just die cutting circles and stitching um, quite simple but I love how it came out so I won't go into too much there because there is a process video already up same with this one already a process video up and I just did some fringing with the um, vellum and the paper um, used one of those frames just clusters and butterflies trickling down so there's that one uh, this one did a lot of fussy cutting um, I can't remember if I filmed a process for this one. Maybe I had. Anyway, if I do, it will be called Be Yourself. And I will link it below if I do. And this title actually came from, I think it was February this year. Um, uh, Pink Fresh Studio stickers we got. So, um, yeah. So, I did... Oops, there's something... <laughs> A random thing on there um a lot of fussy cutting of that blue paper oops and the butterflies when I put them on because I fussy cut them from the different paper I found they kind of got lost a bit so I did use my washi tape which is from my stash to do the bodies of the butterflies and vellum on the top half punched out um some heart 
hearts from my washi. I'm stuck with words today. Um, what else was I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, the tickets. They were from another kit, a few kits back. So, um, and the gold leaves here were actually on that sticker sheet. And it was a full wreath. And I just cut it up and used it as little vines pop peeking out from under my flowers there. So there it is, that one. Okay, next one was the one where I used the gold hearts as a background. Those dear Lizzy gold hearts, I used nine of them. And then I just layered a whole heap of stuff over it. Went crazy with the flowers. And that heart, just go away. Um another one of them frames I did pull in some cork and some uh, wood veneer from previous kit um, added I put some color shine on here and I didn't like the big blobs and then when I went on the um, Kitaholic subscriber group someone suggested to punch out hearts and then I realized we had those black hearts you know, on the sticker sheet so I use them to cover up some of the bigger blobs but I love how this turned out it's very lots of layers and that's something I always struggle with so I was quite happy with the way that one came out okay next one was um, we got two full sheets of this critter banner kind of paper I was like what in the world am I gonna do with that because I believe yeah the other side was that green polka dot one so I fussy cut them out I stitched two kind of banners going across and then some of them are popped up I got my photos sized in Photoshop uh, I um cut a cut the critter out and then put my photo behind sorry for that I had to answer the phone so yeah uh, what was I saying I um cut around the cut the curtains out put my photos behind some of them have popped up and I just strung them like they hanging on the um, banners added a few little bits and pieces in there along with my title and I thought I was going to struggle using these alphas because they're all different colors but I think it works well with all the colors that are going on with all the banners and that Ava could you turn that down a bit please got the kids home on school holidays Ava, turn that down a bit, please. Thank you. Um, so this was the washi tape layout. Um, made my own flowers. Washi tape for um, the background. And just added um, butterfly from the pattern paper I fussy cut out. And I did make a washi tape banner there and a banner there. Um, what else? few little um, puppy stickers, another butterfly, kept it simple, these gold die cuts are from my stash, so that was quite simple, um, wanted to do something with the washi tape, so that's why I made that one. Um, this one is a scrap lift from Lauren, um, she made the reef uh, layout with all the flowers, and I thought I'd do the same I don't know how I feel about it because it's I don't know it's just not colors that I go to it's very bright for me I think it still looks pretty but yeah so this is where I kind of um I use that green paper to cut out the leaves and I've still got a lot of leaves left and that was from my autumn leaf cut while I think that's what it's called. <laughs> it's the autumn cup file, autumn leaf cup file. Um, I'll leave a link to that below if you wanted to. Um, it's a free cup file, so um, if you wanted that, you can go and grab it. So I did add a few little embellishments here and there. Um, when I started out, I cut all the leaves off the actual flowers because they were joined on, and then I tucked them back under where I wanted them. Just added a title with the that foam sticker sheet, a few of the gold leaves, um, yeah, so, it's pretty, but I just, I'm still not 100% sure on it, <laughs> added some gold colour shine as well to that one, uh, this one was one that I made 
to use up my thickers. <laughs> I was like, how in the world am I going to use? There was two packs of the colour thickers and one pack of the white ones. It's like, wow, oh, how am I going to use them all in a month? So, die cut a big heart out from with my cameo, then laid down all the thickers. Um, you can see it's on foam. There's two layers there. Um, and then pop this piece back on. Um, I just kept it simple then because I have all this going on. Photo, um, this sticker was from February sticker sheet um, that we got. And same with these hearts. Some of them were from, yeah, most of them were from February, Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and I just added them in because there were so many colours going on with all these letters. Um, I just wanted something little and the splatters were um, colour shine in tinsel. So there's that one and I was happy to get so many thickers done. I used up. So this one I had, <coughs> excuse me, full sheet of this butterfly paper left and the back side is yellow and I knew I'd never use yellow. And I thought, what can I do with it? So I got my craft knife out and I cut the butterflies. All the butterflies that are facing towards the center have been cut and popped up um, on there. And then I just put a photo and two little banner stickers and the heart sticker in the middle. And that's all I did to that because I spent so much time cutting these butterflies out. So there's three on each diagonal and one on the sides there so and they all got foam underneath them to keep their wings up but it's still pretty layout it was a it was a pretty pattern paper and um yeah you didn't really need to do much to it, it was just so pretty so that was simple but it did take time to cut all that out this one I'm not really fussed on I cut all them hearts out from the pattern paper then I layered some um, some of that vellum on there and cut out some of the gold foil from those Dear Lizzie gold hearts and then stitched down the middle. I was trying to do a, like a Paige Evans type thing, I don't know. And um, use some of the thickers. So I'm not bust on it, but I'm not going to get rid of it. So there is that one. I did use a lot of those gold word stickers to on this one and the title is Great Granddad and that great is from a Paige Evans sticker book that we got quite a few kits back and some of the foam um, stickers that we got in the September kits. So these last two layouts don't have photos on them. Um, this one is a scrap lift from Adrienne who's in the, uh, she's a subscriber to Kidaholics and I didn't have much of this blue paper left but I really wanted to scrap lift her layout so I made a 9 by 12 I made put a border on it because it's I don't know it feels too white to me so um still got to put a photo journaling and a title but I just wanted to use up the last little bits of florals that I had from that blue paper on that one and last one, this one hasn't got a photo, and I scrap lifted Lauren, who's on the design team, and she did um, masking and stamping, and I did the same. I used um, the September stamps, and also a lot of the word stamps we've got in previous kits, and I also used the clear, um, the clear words that we got in the sticker sheet. I added them on there as well, and... Um, put this one together but I'm kind of over the September kits <laughs> now so I'm just going to leave that one for the moment and come back to it and put a picture and finish it off same with this one um, but yeah so we got one two three oops three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13 layouts, so 14, 15 for the art journal and that, and also, so what did I say, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I don't know if you count them as one. I suppose you can count them as one. So 24 project, 20, well, yeah, you would count them as one because that's 12 by 12. I'm counting them as one. It sounds better to say 24. <laughs> 24 projects done out of one kit, doesn't it? <laughs> so that is my killer kit. Um, I hope, hoping once I put all this together, it's not too long. I might make one where I don't talk. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.